alkylation of ammonia is an SN2 reaction between ammonia and an alkyl halide. There are two possible outcomes for this reaction. You will either make NR4+. This is a quaternary ammonium ion. It's got four alkyl groups on it. Or the other possible outcome is that you will make a primary amine. These two outcomes can be controlled by the relative amount of amine and alkyl halide. If you run the reaction with excess alkyl halide, then you're going to get excess alkyl groups. You'll end up with this quaternary ammonium. If you run the, al uh, the reaction with excess amine, not very much alkyl halide, you'll end up with a primary amine. You might be wondering, like, what if I just used uh, somewhere in between excess and uh, just a regular NH3? Could I make a secondary? Could I make a tertiary? Unfortunately, you can't. There's not that much control in this reaction. It's just kind of all or uh, sort of nothing. The mechanism for this reaction is really simple. And as I draw the mechanism, I'll talk a little bit more about how you can't really control the outcome of this reaction. Remember, this is SN2, so our alkyl halide needs to be anything other than tertiary. Lone pair of electrons on the nitrogen will attack the alkyl group uh, and kick off the uh, halogen as a leaving group and will end up with initially with a quaternary ammonium. Another amine molecule, so a second NH3 molecule, will come in and deprotonate. Just do an acid-base reaction. And this gives us our first product, a primary amine. Now, if we're doing this reaction, if we're doing this reaction with excess amines, we've got lots and lots and lots of amine and a very small amount of alkyl halide, the chances of an amine, uh, of an ammo ammonia molecule, an NH3 molecule, colliding with an alkyl halide molecule are pretty slim because there aren't very many of these molecules. So again, if we have lots and lots of NH3 and a very small amount of Rx, this collision right here is pretty unlikely. And so um, for that reason, the chances of this molecule reacting a second time with a second alkyl halide is basically impossible. So if we have excess NH3, the reaction stops right here. This is the product right like that. If we're running it under the other set of conditions where we have a lot of alkyl halide present, there's excess alkyl halide, that means once that we get to this particular point, we've got lots and lots of alkyl halide. So we're going to end up with another collision with a second alkyl halide molecule. And again, that's just because of the quantity of alkyl halide present. It's almost impossible to keep that second collision from taking place. And now we've put two alkyl groups on this molecule and we've made another quaternary ammonium. We'll deprotonate it again using something else like it could be an amine, could be this right here, or it could be uh, one of these types of molecules doesn't really matter what it is we just need something with a lone pair and that's going to give us this guy and again remember in this scenario that we're thinking about right now we're running the reaction with excess alkyl halide so that means we're going to just keep bumping these molecules in as we're making these molecules we're just going to keep bumping them into more and more alkyl halide so we're going to get another SN2 reaction this is going to put another R group on the molecule. We'll deprotonate it one more time, maybe with NH3, maybe with something a little bit more interesting. It doesn't really matter what is doing the actual deprotonation here. Now we have tertiary. And again, um, people usually think, why can't we just stop right here if we wanted to make a tertiary? But that the reason we can't stop is because we have so much alkyl halide. Like that, there's just tons of it. And we're going to get another collision. And this is, this is finally where the reaction will stop, where we have four alkyl groups on the nitrogen. There is nothing else for it to do. There's no hydrogens anymore for it to deprotonate. There's no room for any more alkyl groups. And so the reaction is over.